Good morning, good morning, and thanks for tuning in to Bible Vision Ministries. This is Pastor Vevelet Poole. So glad that you guys could be a part of, uh, uh, once again, I have uh, on the line with me, uh, Pastor Marvin, and I have my also my, my spouse here as well, uh, WB, Pastor WB Bottoms. And we're so glad that you could come and be a part of us today. Um, today, we're going to be talking about rest. We're going to be talking about rest. And we all know that rest is something that we need in the body of Christ. We need rest more than ever before. We need to learn how to rest. And a lot of people don't know how. Uh, resting is something that in the body of Christ, we have, uh, all of us have had issues with, problems with. We don't know how to rest. That's why so many of us are suffering from so many different illnesses, diseases, mm -hmm. and whatnot, because we don't know how to rest. And so we're going to get into an in-depth Bible study today on rest. And I'm hoping that this will help us, help you, help me to rest and know how to um, conquer the and defeat the enemy on this because he's the one that keeps us from resting you know mm -hmm. I, you know it's us too because our mind is not where it needs to be and you know when your mind is not uh resting then your body can't rest you know, we yeah. all know that your mind is not resting your mind is thinking different thoughts you know you can't rest mm -hmm. as uh you know, you can't get your sleep. You can't get your rest. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen. We're going to get into some scriptures here um, right quick. Let's go ahead and get into scripture. Scripture. Okay. That's not the one. That's not the one. Hold on a second. Uh, I think that's it. All right. So, like I said, I'm trying to find that the, the screen where I had all the different scriptures. <laughs> and uh, so, let me see if I can go ahead and share this screen here. Um, nope. Nope. Uh, on the screen right now, you are seeing uh, my website. Um, my website right now on the screen. Uh, and I did want to let you guys know. We have uh, 27 uh, 20 breakthrough prayers here that we um, are going to be using um, in our uh, Bible classes and stuff. So as you can see, and you can download the PDF. This is the Bible Visions uh, Ministries website that you're looking at on Zoom. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, and we're going to ask that Pastor Marvin give us a word of prayer, and then we're going to go right into the message for today, okay? Uh, so, Pastor Marvin, take it away. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning through your son named Jesus. First and foremost, Lord, we want to ask you for the forgiveness of all our sins, known and unknown, Lord. We mm -hmm. ask you for of every thought, every word, every imagination and deed, Lord. And Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for showing your grace and mercy upon us again today, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to see another day, Lord, because we truly know that some didn't wake up this morning, and we know that some didn't wake up in the right frame of mind and good health, Lord. Lord, yes. we ask you your anointing to come upon this gathering right now, Lord. Yes, God. Lord, said whenever two or more gathered in your name, you are in the midst, Heavenly Father. Lord, yes. we Ask you, Lord, allow your anointing to come upon the speaker, Lord, and hide them behind the cross as you use them, Lord. Let them bring your word, which is a rainbow word, Heavenly Father. Lord, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, to open up our physical, spiritual ears, Heavenly Father, that we be able to hear your voice, Lord. Yes. And Lord, we ask you to open up our physical, spiritual eyes, Heavenly Father, that we be able to see the things around us and see the things within your word you want us to see, Lord. And Lord, we ask you to open up our physical mind and, and heart, Heavenly Father, that we be able to receive and believe your word, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus against anything that's contrary to the word of God right now. Yes. Lord. Yes. We ask you to have 
the way. And Lord, as we decrease, you increase it all. And we ask you these things in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen for the prayer. Let's pray this morning. And we're so thankful to, like I said, have uh, Sister Caroline, Carolyn, in our midst today. We're very excited to have her. We thank you so much for coming. And like I said, you. you will get uh, a blessed today and hear a word that might encourage you and uplift you this morning. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into uh, the lesson today. So as you can see, we're going to be coming from Matthew chapter 11. And uh, this is where Jesus was talking to his disciples. Evidently, they were weary and uh, the Pharisees were also talking to him. But we're going to be coming from uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. And it's a very, very familiar scripture. Um, those of you that have it, get your Bibles and uh, come join us here and look at it. You can also look at it on the screen. Uh, so that's why we have it, just in case you, you know, didn't come with your Bible. It says, come unto me, all ye that oh, labor. You, labor. you have it? Okay. I'll wait. Yes. yes, I have it. Okay. Matthew 11, chapter uh, 11, and verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give I you, you rest. rest. Right. Take mm -hmm. my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest, rest, rest for your unto your souls. And the topic this morning is rest this morning, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Glory be mm -hmm. to God. And so we we want to talk a bit a bit, like I said at the beginning of, of the lesson this morning, we want to talk about how it is that the enemy wants to steal our sleep. He wants to steal our rest. He wants to keep us from, um, you know, being refreshed the next morning. Because if he can keep us weary, you know, Jesus said, come unto me. And when mm -hmm. Jesus said, come unto me, he was referring to us, his, his disciples. He was saying, look, I need you to trust in me. You know, relieve your mind of everything and just come to me. That, that that the first thing that you see is come unto me. That is big because a lot of us, you know, there are a lot of people that are going to the liquor bottle when they want to get good sleep. They 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 take they you know if they want to relax, they they <laughs> drink a beer. You know, they they want to get relaxed. They 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 may shoot up to get relaxed. Uh, there are a lot of things that people do to relax, but Jesus is saying come unto me all ye that labor and have you know after working the hard day's work and doing everything that you have to do in your day jesus is saying come unto me and so that means cut the tv off and get in a quiet place and get your mind on the lord and, and and so many of us, it's hard. You know, the phone is ringing. You know, we got friends, we got people that are always in our head, you know. But God is saying, mm -hmm. okay, I need you to get block everybody out, block everything out, and come <laughs> unto me. You know, this is important because a lot of people think prayer time, well, that's when we come to the Lord. No, no, no. He wants, when we get ready to rest, when we get ready to uh, 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 you know, me and my husband was talking about this morning how that rest is something that a lot of times we don't know how to do. I mean, to be honest, be truthful, because if your sure. mind is so bombarded with things, you know how busy the world is today. The phone is mm -hmm. like the world keeps going regardless right. of, you know, the world keeps going regardless of what is happening. To, you know, uh, as far as what your body needs, whether you're tired or whatever, you drain, the world keeps spinning, you know, right. the world keeps turning and, and, and it doesn't stop for me and for you just because we are tired, just because we want to rest. And so in the body of Christ, we need to learn, <clears throat> learn uh, how to rest. Right. And Jesus said, come, unto, come me, unto me, all, all you that labor, that labor and are heavy laden, laden, and I will give you rest. And he says, take my yoke. See, this is where it gets personal. 
because he's telling us to take his yoke upon us and learn of, of, of him, learn of me. You know, I was telling my husband this morning about rest and how that it's a spiritual thing. Rest is a spiritual thing. A lot of people don't look at rest as a spiritual thing, but you take this scripture when you can't rest at night and you quote it. I did that last night. I couldn't sleep. For some reason, I just could not uh, rest. I was tussling and turning. I had My mind had been busy doing some things, putting these prayers on the website, doing all the things that I do for the ministry. And the Holy Spirit quickened me, began to prompt me, began to show me, hey, you need to rest. You need to get rest. You don't need to think anymore. You need to rest. And it was like the scripture, this scripture came to me and it comforted me. And he said, speak it out loud. So I said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy burdened, I will give you rest. And what happened was I was quick and it was like a, 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 a burden lifted up off of me. As I quoted this scripture, and I was, I got, I got started getting comfortable, and I didn't realize it was an evil spirit that was on me trying to keep me from resting. Have you mm -hmm. ever been to where that you went to sleep, and then the night, the next morning, you woke up and you still got pains in your back, and you, 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 you still you, your neck, you slept wrong, and you got all this stuff going, and you didn't get a good sleep last night. It was because you didn't rest in Christ. You didn't really rest. And those spirits were still on you. And you woke up and you were still mm -hmm. in this state of pain. I know you've been there before. I know you've been there before. Right? Yes. Yes. And you sound like you have something you wanted to say, uh, uh, Sister Carolyn. What were you, I mean, at this point, you you're agreeing with me that you you've been here you've been here where you could yes. sleep you couldn't rest go ahead I'm listening. yes many a nights have tossed and turned and then uh suddenly I I I I had to fight to go to sleep yeah and and, and I'm trying to sleep mm -hmm. but there's something that's keeping me from sleeping and I just didn't know what it was mm -hmm. but now that you're on the topic of talking about it this is what this is spirits avoid avoiding you from resting yes mm -hmm. taking you stealing your peace from you yes and a mm. lot of people you know most people don't realize that 30 percent of Jesus' ministry, he was casting out demons. And we still wrestle with them today. You, mm -hmm. People don't have the, a deliverance ministry anymore because they don't take the word of God. See, the, the spirit, the, when I begin to quote these words here, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Immediately that spirit leaped off of my body. Mm -hmm. This is how real God is. And I was able to get some sleep, but I had to keep quoting the scripture because I was getting comfortable, but I still felt like I, I, sleep was still not there yet. And I mm. kept, keep quoting the scripture. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. rest. Take my yoke upon me. Now we're taking on the spirit of God, not the yoke of the enemy. See, that, right. that's why I tell you it's a spiritual thing. Take my <laughs> yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Mm -hmm. And so the more I began to quote this scripture last night, the more I was getting comfortable. All of a sudden, I mm -hmm. realized I knocked out. And I tell you, it was morning when I woke up, and I felt so restressed. I mean, so relieved and so uh, uh, rested when I woke up this morning. And I, I, I was telling uh, somebody earlier, I felt felt bright eyes and bushy tail this morning. And that's mm -hmm. the way I felt after my sleep. But I was up last night till what, 12, 1 o'clock? You know, trying to, you know, do things, you know, here on the website for the Lord. And uh, then got to where my mind was so busy that when I got ready to rest, I, I had to learn how. And, and that's the way it is sometimes. God wants his people to rest. Mm -hmm. 
Today is the Sabbath day. And God wants you to rest. He wants you to rest with your families. He wants you to be there uh, to take time to smell the roses today. Mm -hmm. Don't get so busy that you forget about what you need to be, you know, doing in Christ today. We are to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. I've got some other scriptures, but I wanted to. Uh, I basically wanted to get this one out here and I'm going to stop sharing the screen for a minute to give anybody else a chance if they want to speak or say anything on the lesson today. Uh, I, I'm giving you the opportunity now. This is a Bible study. This is a Bible class and everybody has, has rights to talk during this Bible class. This is an interactive Bible class. So at this yes. time. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Um. So it's a spiritual warfare, and the devil starts with your mind. Now come on. Because when he know that he got your mind, he got you. Yeah, and there it is. So, yes. So this is why he's attacking your mind. Mm -hmm. Because he knows that he, if he has your, you know, your mind, your body is going to follow whatever your mind tells you to do. Yeah. And it's attack. It is it's spiritual warfare and you can feel it in your mind. Your mind will be thinking because sometimes I think, you know, I, I, I read my Bible and, and I, 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 you know, I try, try to read it every morning, early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes your mind will just go off into something different. Yes. And so now that's an attack. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now. I made sure. I don't know if you can see it or not because I'm, this is kind of blurry, but this Bible is on my website and I'll give you the website, uh, www.biblevisionministries.org. This Bible is $65, but mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's a, it's one of those Bibles that have all these colorful pictures in it. It's just a beautiful uh, Bible. It just, you know, just so much in this, uh, so many pictures and things in this Bible that make you realize, you know, like a lot of people, don't understand that if we keep your mind, he said he would keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. And, you know, having something like this gives you the opportunity to, to have, um, to, to, to get your focus off TV, you know, because we want to see, we, we don't know it, but we think in pictures. Our mm -hmm. mind and our mental capability thinks in pictures. True. And, True. uh, we, you know, when we're reading something, we want to see pictures. We want to see mm -hmm. what happened back there. And that's why mm -hmm. we're so drawn to images on TV. We love to see that. But God wants us to keep our mind on him. And I think this Bible would be actually a good thing for you to have uh, where you can keep your mind on the Lord all the time. But we're still mm -hmm. talking about rest. And we're going to go back to scripture here today. But I wanted to know if my uh, uh, my friend, Pastor Marvin, has anything on this before we continue on? I'm just listening right now. I'm okay. just listening. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So let's let's mosey on. I'm going to go back and share my screen. We're going to go back to scripture here because we want to stay in the word. Amen. We want to stay in the word and keep the word of God before us. Keep it before our eyes. But like I said, that yoke that he's talking about is that burden. He said his yoke is easy. So God put his spirit on me last night and I began to sleep. Like I said, the burden lifted. Whatever burden it was on me lifted up off of me. And you can call it a spirit, but I was quickened. I screamed when the, when the, when the burden lifted off of me and I realized mm -hmm. I was heavy. I didn't even know it. I was heavy and I didn't know that I was heavy. And that's the way it is sometimes. God's people uh need to lighten up we need to uh, put, cast all our cares on him because he cares for us he, we need right. to do that and right that's one of the reasons why uh god had you know uh, probably allowed this to happen to me is so that i could be able to teach it this morning and he said this is what i want you to teach, teach on because my people are not resting in me they're not resting they don't know how to rest but if your mind is busy you can't rest you toss, you turn. If you're worrying, you're thinking about what bills you got paid or to pay or whatever the case, you cannot be at peace. Yes. You cannot rest. Um, let's go on over here to Hebrews. Uh, 
because this is this is good here. Hebrews, I'm in Hebrews chapter four. You can look at it on, you know, if I get go too fast, <laughs> let me know. Um, it says verse eight, for if Jesus had given them rest, they would not afterward he have spoken of another day. So it's talking about here that there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. You know, for he that entered into his rest, he also ceased from his own works as God did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall uh, after this example of unbelief. So we know that the, the that God promises his people rest. And if we don't get our sleep, if we don't get our rest, then we're not any good to anybody else. And we can't do a good job the next day. The devil knows this. Mm. He knows that if we are uh, fatigued, if we're anxious, we got anxiety going on. If there's something going on where we can't get any peace, he knows he got us then because then the pressures, he can use his imps and his demonic oppression mm -hmm. to make us uh, not get the work of God done, whatever it might be that God has called you to do for him. And not mm -hmm. even that, just regular work, just things you got to do on a daily. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's your regular job or whether you're trying to clean the kitchen, whatever it is. And he puts, those, you know, those demons put that pain into your back. You know what I'm saying? You got that back pain. You got, you got, you got uh, that headache. That, all of this contributes mm -hmm. to sickness and disease that where Jesus had to cast out them evil spirits off of people in the Bible. Mm -hmm. There remaineth therefore a rest. To the people of God. That's in verse 9 of, of uh, Hebrews 4. There remaineth therefore a rest, rest. to the people, the people of, God. of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so Amen. I want you to get these and if you got a pen and a piece of paper, write these down. So when you get restless, the, you can have this and the enemy won't be able to, you know, because when, 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 when Jesus had fasted 40 days and 40 nights and the devil came tempting him, he gave him the word. Each time he gave him the word in Matthew chapter four, he said, it is written, thou shalt not tip the Lord thy God. It is written. And he kept in, it is written. And so as we go through this today, I want you to use this. You know, the Bible, the Bible is not just there for us to um, look at and even look at pretty pictures, but the Bible is there for us to utilize and use uh, so that we can be, so that we can be prepared for the tests and the trials, the things that the enemy tries to bring to us to keep us out of rest, out of peace of God. There are, a lot of people lose their mind mentally because they don't know how to rest. Mm -hmm. You got people that stay up all night long. When, you, when I was young, I could do it and go to work the next day. But you can't do this can't do and still function. We're not made up to do this kind of thing. We're not made up to do it. And therefore, we wonder why we're getting all kinds of sickness and disease behind it. Why we got high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, because mm -hmm. we don't know how to rest. rest. We don't know how to rest. Now, I want you to look at something in verse 12. It says, the word of God is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Now, when we come against the enemy, we got to use these scriptures. If we don't, we're not going to be able to rest. Mark it down. We got to use the word of God against the enemy. But somebody said, well, I, I do yoga. Uh, I do yoga and, uh, you know, we sit there and we meditate. We meditate in yoga and that helps me. But God is telling us this morning that God told us in scripture that we have to meditate on his word. You see, not on, not in you. Now, if this is stepping on somebody's toes, I'm sorry. But the word of God is sharp and it's quick and it's powerful than any two-edged sword, piercing, even dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit. I told you this is a spiritual thing that we're going on. We're warring against the very uh, 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 spirits of our mind. 
And the enemy puts them there. But the word of God will divide the, 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 and, and actually cut those demons out of us as we are trying to rest, as we're trying to get, get at peace. Well, this is why we can't sleep. It, it, the dev, demons are on our back. They're in trying to get in us and they're taunting us. And, you know, a believer, I believe, cannot be demonically possessed, but they can be harassed. They can be harassed by the enemy. <clears throat> he'll take, when you lay down, he'll make sure that you can't go to sleep. And he'll Amen. use his imps as best as he can to keep you from sleeping. I would like to say, mm -hmm. um, you said something about yoga. Mm -hmm. I read um, last month sometime that yoga is demonic. It is. Yeah. It is. Yes, it is. And a lot of people don't know uh, when you into that, you're in um, you opening up that door for them to come in. Yeah, and that exactly. door and that door is your heart. Yeah. So they got to know what before you get into anything, you need to know the origin of that. Come on. And, yes. and you got mm -hmm. to see now no one person knows everything. Right. So right. you got to get other people's point of view concerning this and that and you know because a lot of people when you tell people man that's demonic and then you they say no it ain't that people just down just bad mouthing everybody nowadays they don't want to believe it right. so what you do like jesus said shake the dust off your feet and tell it stepping and so they don't want to listen because uh, i think i mentioned to you a while back that a lady friend of mine I went over her house mm -hmm. and she had all these type of statues mm -hmm. up in the house and mm -hmm. she tell her what they was about, but mm -hmm. she didn't want to accept it. A mm -hmm. real good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So I didn't mm -hmm. talk her no more. <laughs> you know, I left it alone. Right. So uh, that's the way it is. If they don't want to listen, you know, uh, hey, God bless them. Yes, yes. You know, uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, Carol. They it says that God uh, he he told us to study yeah. to show ourselves approved. And this is what he means. We have to get deep into his word yeah. and study because there's things out here that the devil is putting out to make it look good, but yeah. it ain't always good for you, and it's not good for you if it's not pertaining to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And Paul said something concerning that as well. He says, I may not, I, I can't really uh, remember the scripture completely, but he said that he won't let anything hold, bound him, anything, you know, even though he may sin, but it won't abound him. Mm -hmm. If you know that scripture I'm kind of talking about. Yeah, he's talking about nothing. He wouldn't let anything... Um... I, I I think I know what you're talking about too. Um, when he would not let anything um, oh, it's not coming, but yeah, uh, master him. He wouldn't ma yes. to master him. Yeah, I I get what you're talking about. But there are a lot of people that are using everything but the Word of God. Yeah. To to mm -hmm. to to solve their issues, to solve their problems. But Jesus didn't come and die on the cross for our sins for us to sit back and suffer with what the devil is trying to put on us. Right. You know, and this, is where, right. this is where people are in mental institutions. They're going to the psychiatrist. They're trying to figure mm -hmm. out what's going on. And it's an inward problem. It's a spiritual problem. It's a spiritual battle. Yeah. It's a spiritual battle that they're going through. They're going they're through. Thinking, they're thinking that it's something that medicine can solve. But there is no uh, no temptation that that uh, that God has not put on us that he will, with the same temptation, make a way of escape. Amen. 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 So yes. as a result, we as children of God, we got to learn of him. And that's what we're doing this morning. Yes. Somebody's learning something. This yes. Morning. Amen. Because we need his word. And if we rely on his word as Jesus did, and when the devil came, he said, it is written. 
Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God, and only him should you serve. When, when he came offering him bread, you know, he knew, you know, he knew Jesus was on a fast. When he came talking about bow down to me, you know, and, mm -hmm. and so we know as children of God that we need to worship nothing. You know, and think about it. Who's the power there? Satan is, is the power of, Satan. he's in the air. Yeah, and so when you sit in front and 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 think of you're in nothingness in yoga, who's controlling that? If you if your mind is uh, clear, and I'll show you a scripture in Joshua one where it talks about meditating day and night, and then you'll have good success in Joshua one, Joshua one and eight. I'll get the scripture here in just a moment, but we need to understand. That the enemy is not playing. This is not a game to him. No. He attacks you at night when you're trying to sleep. Now, why would he do that? He knows that your senses are down, your defenses are down. And this is when he comes to attack. Trying to uh, keep you up, yeah. trying, to keep, trying to keep you from uh, uh, getting your rest. Because why? He wants your mind to be at a state where he can talk to you the next morning about, so oh my my back hurts, my head hurts, whatever the case mm -hmm. might be. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Pastor Car Carol. I mean, Swiss Carolyn. Yes, uh, he he also, and we have to also list, uh, watch, I mean, listen to what we hear because mm -hmm. he also uses music mm -hmm. and things like that yes. to play on our mind. It's pictures, it's music, it's all these things that he can use, turn around and use it against us because he knows that certain music certain people like and did, and a lot of that stuff you're listening to and, and some people are even dancing to this music, not knowing the full meaning of what they are saying uh -huh. in the music. And this is how we get caught off guard by the devil is playing mind games. He's, he's trickery to us. So that's why God told us we have to keep, keep our mind stayed on him because we're fighting a, a, a spiritual war right now and it's getting worse. Yeah. The nation is, is 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 getting ready to go into probably war, and mm -hmm. uh, you know there's a lot of, of people that don't realize it, and he wants to trouble us. He wants us to get us in fear, like my husband was talking about last week. He wants us to uh, our minds not to be on the things of God. Literally, wow. uh, he wants our minds not to to be on the things of God. But here's a scripture uh, in the King James version here, and I wanted. Yeah, I want to make sure that everybody understands. You talk about music, were you? Well, this is what kind of music we should be listening to. It says, speaking to yourselves in psalms. This is Ephesians 5, 19. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing, making melody in your heart to who? Not to each other, to the Lord. To the Lord. Mm -hmm. To the Lord. So those gospel songs that are not the songs that, that we're singing about making love or whatever they, they might be. Mm -hmm. uh, songs that are, uh, you know, not talking about anything. Mm -hmm. The songs that God is talking about are singing to him. And we have to right. make melody in our heart and praise the Lord and make merry. This is why the enemy, uh, Satan was, who, who, he was the singing angel, wasn't he? He was the one that, uh, he was the angel of music. And he knows exactly what it's going to take to go make us go off of our meditation to God. Right. We, as far as uh, 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 learning things about God. And the, the more we keep our mind uh, on Christ, the more we'll stay in perfect peace. The more we, you know, whose mind is stayed on thee because we trust in the Lord. The more we are constantly, our minds are stayed on the Lord, the more that uh, the peace will come into our hearts and the demons won't have a chance to get in. I'm right. talking to myself this morning. I don't know about you. I'm trying to learn how to rest this morning. I'm, tr I'm trying to learn how to rest because there's so much outside around <laughs> us that trying to keep us from resting, resting. from being yes. at peace. Now, there's one scripture, and I'm going I'm to I'm stop sharing for a minute and go back, but there's one scripture that says, he giveth his beloved sleep. And that uh, I'm going to give give you that one here in just a moment as well. But we want you to understand that it's the Lord 
that wants us to sleep, not the enemy. He he's the one that wants us to rest. And that's why he wants to come, he wants to give us the Sabbath day. And I'll I'll let you, you know, people say, well, uh, I don't know where that's at, where the Sabbath day is Saturday. I don't understand that. Uh, but let me go ahead and give you the one, the scripture here about um he, he giveth his beloved sleep, and then we'll um we'll go go further here, just a second here. I this is mm -hmm. let's do this here. And I'm trying to just make sure we got, I think it's in Psalms, yes. Um, Psalms. Psalms 127 and 2. It is vain for you to rise up early and to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for he giveth his beloved sleep. Psalms 127. I hope you guys are writing this down because, like I said, you're going to need this. I believe when the enemy tries to come at you like he did with me last night, I, I put the word on him. I said, oh, no, you're not going to keep me from sleeping. Come unto me. And I began, I just kept saying it over and over again. And before I knew it, I was asleep <laughs> and I didn't wake up with no pain. So the word of God is living and sharp than any two-edged sword. It does the work. It really does the work. But as you can see, David knew about it because he, you know, the enemy, ran. he wrestled with it. He said, this is David. He said, in Psalms 127 and 2, it's vain for you to rise up early and to mm -hmm. sit up late and to eat, to eat the bread of sorrows. For he giveth his beloved sleep. He giveth his beloved sleep. Amen. Amen. As, as we, mm -hmm. like I said, as we look at this further, let's look at the Sabbath day and what it really represents. A lot of people think, oh, they're just trying to be special. You know, they know that they don't, but the word of God said, if the ox in the ditch, get him out. If the ox is in the ditch, get him out. And then Jesus came back and said, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath. So if God is the Lord of the Sabbath, then what that really entails is that he is, he's the Lord of the Sabbath. Meaning that he, he has the authority to work on the Sabbath because, you know, the Pharisees came to him talking about eating with unwashed hands. You know, and mm -hmm. corn on the Sabbath day, and all of this. But Jesus said, "Hey, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm I, the Son of Man. Is the Lord of the Sabbath." He was talking about himself. He said, "So I have the right to pluck corn if I need to get the corn out the field so I can eat. I have the right to do this." But at the same time, what the Word of God says: Six days shall you work, and the seventh day you're to keep holy. And so this is what we want to know. It's, and it's talking about remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. There's a reason why the, in the Ten Commandments, you know, God spoke and said, uh, remember, because man will have you out here doing everything <laughs> on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. but the right thing on the Sabbath day. Now, not all the time are you going to be so busy that you can't give God holiness. He said, make it holy unto the Lord. Whatsoever you do with any work on the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. This is how serious it was under the law. But we know we're not under the law. We're under grace. But we need to rest. And this is what is missing from a lot of the preachers of God. There, You, you find preachers, you find some preachers that are uh, getting sick and going to the hospital. Uh, because they won't rest. They put the ministry before their families and they don't spend time with their families. And so this is my warning to you today. If you don't want to be sick, if you don't want to be demon possessed, rest. God gives his beloved sleep. He wants you to rest. He wants you to learn how to rest. And my husband hasn't spoken yet today. So I'm going to give him the opportunity to say something on this topic because he's a security guard <laughs> and they <laughs> always need sleep after they come home from a, you know, and so he's taking out time. He just got off work. Uh, but I'm going to give him the opportunity to speak on this subject because this is, this is one of, like I said, this is one of those topics that he needs, he, he needs to talk to us about because I know he knows about it a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Cause, uh, Right now, I'm working off of six hours of sleep, <laughs> and I got to go back tonight and uh, and do my next 14 and a half hours. <laughs> um, <laughs> when COVID happened, um, they trained us to wear the mask all the time and all of that. 
mm-hmm. ourselves and protect the people we're around. Because when mm-hmm. I go out there, I don't know what I'm bringing in my body. So you got to be got to be conscious of what you're doing. So when I'm when I'm driving at night, I used to have a position where I just was at one one spot. But then they said, "Look, we need some help." Because people, when COVID happened, they had people quit left and right. They was older people. They were like, "Look, I'm not taking no vaccine." Next thing you know, they were like, "Look, we don't lost too many employees, so we got to figure out a way to keep our business. Do we gonna be losing a lot of business?" So what they did, mm-hmm. they were like, "Look." These are the new schedules. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> I was like, what? So I have been working six hours. I was, I was working Monday through Friday, be off Saturday during the day. But then in order to make my 40 hours, I had to work Saturday night and get off Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. And my wife was like, oh. you can't do that. So she called my job. My boss said, your wife calling me? I said, sir, look, I don't know how she got it new, but she got it. <laughs> So he was like, well, this is what we're going to do. So next thing I know, he was like, look, this is the new schedule. So the other guy had already got the other schedule. <clears throat> so he snuck in and got it. He said, well, this is what's left off the bottom. And I said, well, what choice do I have? He said, well, you'll be out of work. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay. I said, so I have three days off? He's like, yeah. So I said, well, I'll take them three days. And then be off. And my wife said, honey, I said, well, look, at least I'll be home during the day. And uh, and so, and so sometimes you got to, you got to take things that you don't want to take, but if you got to survive, you know. And mm-hmm. so I'll, I'll work three days, but I don't work no more. So they got an AI system now. The managers don't really talk to you that much. AI now schedule out, and they don't, and the computer don't care. They don't care if you're human or not human. They're going to send you a message, but you can deny it. So if it ain't on my regular schedule, I get messages all the time from AI, artificial intelligence. <clears throat> says, Look, no. I just tell them, they ask a question. Do you want it or yes or no? I says no. <laughs> and so I work my three days, and then I'm here, here with her doing the other three days. Well, it's four days, really. All right. So we thank God for... Uh, him coming, like I said, coming and 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 like I said, being here, being on here, because like I said, it takes a lot out of him. He, you know, works uh, unusual shifts sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when he gets home, I make sure he gets his sleep. You know, mm-hmm. and it's not interrupted. But right. as a wife, but what I'm trying to explain at this point, we are talking about the Sabbath, and we are talking about the, you know those of us that can rest, those of us that can. Have set to have the Sabbath off as the Sabbath day. Um, you know, it's important that our bodies are relaxed and we can sleep and our mind is at peace. That's very, very important in the body of Christ. And I've been to where I yeah. can sleep. I know you have been to where you can't sleep, but God has given you the key today. Amen. Mm-hmm. His word does not come back void, but will accomplish what is in it. So I want you guys to, when you, when you get off of here, I want you to rest today. I want you to smell the flowers, enjoy family, you know, that you can that you can enjoy and, mm-hmm. and be there for one another. Because like I said, we're all a family here. We're a family. So if you need something, you need to call me for whatever reason. I'm here. Amen. Um, okay. Like I said, we are doing everything we can to keep the sickness and disease down. You know, the older you get, uh, and I can't believe, I ain't going to say how old I am, but I can't believe I'm <laughs> at this point in my life to where I'm this old. You know, I would have thought, oh, this was, but time passes so fast. It does. And the next thing you know, you were 30, but now you up there now. Mm-hmm. Up there, way, way up there in a. Uh, and that's when the enemy tries to, and they, and the devil wants to tell you, Hey, you're older. You're going to have sickness and, and disease. No, you don't have to. No. If you, if you use the word of God correctly on the enemy. And, uh, so let's go back. Like I said, a couple of more scriptures, and then we're going to end the Bible class because this, this is not supposed to be, but an hour long, but we, I really have enjoyed this one. This one was a really, uh, a good one. Uh, like I said, I'm really enjoying uh you 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 guys as well and all your comments and everything. 
Uh, so let's go one other scripture, and I think we're going to be calling it quits. Um, all right, so Hebrews 12 and 1, very familiar scripture again. Um, and let's let's go even further. I want to go to uh, Joshua 1 and 8, because that's, a, that's one we were talking about meditation, right? Joshua 1, 8. Let me go there right quick. And uh, let's see. Joshua 1 8, King James Version. Oh, wow. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So Joshua 1 and, 1 and 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but it shall you, thou shalt meditate there therein day and night. So there's no in between day and night. It, it's day and then it's night. Thou that thou mayest observe to do according to all that's written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So um, the enemy wants to touch our finances. He wants to make sure we're not prosperous. He wants to make sure we're not good in anything that we do. It says, this mm -hmm. book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but shall accomplish whereto it's sent. So you, we need to meditate day and night on the right. word. And so we miss it sometimes because mm -hmm. we're not doing, we're not meditating. And therefore our mind is confused. We don't know what we're doing. We don't, you know, we don't know why uh, we're worried all the time. We're not meditating on the word right. of God. And right. so this, 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 this takes yoga out of the, the equation. This one scripture, because why you're meditating on the word, not right. You just in nothing, nothingness land. You're meditating on the word of God. Right. And so yoga has no place in that. No. And if I if I may say, so when you lay down at night, I, I would suggest go to YouTube mm -hmm. and have it reading the Bible to you while you're sleeping. Yeah. Or have prayers, have prayers playing all night long while you're sleeping mm -hmm. and uh so the devil can't like you said like one i i listen to plead pleading the blood of jesus mm -hmm. over your family over your household over mm -hmm. anything so you know the the devil can't get on you while you're sleeping and you're constantly pleading the blood of jesus in that prayer right and so and right. you know he don't like the name of Jesus, mm -mm. especially when you start talking about, I plead the blood of Jesus over this, <laughs> over this, over this. So mm -hmm. when you plead the blood of Jesus, man, the devil got to go. Yeah. And so you, yes. you, definitely, you definitely have your rest when, when you got that plan and you just land there comfortably, most definitely. Only thing you should be thinking about getting up in the morning, get going to get that food. You know, <laughs> that's what I be thinking about. Yeah. I, well, I'm gonna go get that, but mm -hmm. um, but if you have that plan, I'm sure that nothing will come up come on you, because I mentioned a while back because we've been having this Bible study for a long time, and I and I and I mentioned that one time I was in bed and a demon straddled me, had oh. his hand over my mouth, oh. and I couldn't call on the name of Jesus, mm. and I said. And he and he told me to shut up. Mm, what? And he said, once, mm. and once I, I once he got off me, I said I plead the blood of Jesus, and it, I was all right after that. So, you know, you can just sometimes when you land in bed, when you land in bed, you can feel that there's something in the room with you mm -hmm. other than yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's when you got because the, that's when the Jesus said. That the Holy Spirit will bring all things back to your remembrance. Yeah. So you got to start praying and and pleading the blood of Jesus to clean that room out, so you can lay down and you can get that sleep, that rest, or whatever you need. Wow. That's what you need to do. I That's mean, what I. Yes. Amen. This this, amen. this has been a very encouraging Bible class. I don't know, you know, and I'm the teacher, but I'm this is for me and it's for you and anybody listening on Facebook today because why? The enemy, he ain't got no new tricks. I'm going to tell you. Right no. Now. 
the same demons that were back there in Jesus' day that he had to cast out, they're still here. And they're trying to come against God's people. Uh, I tell you, uh, that was that's a testimony, Pastor Martin. That's a testimony because I'm going to tell you something. The enemy does not, like I said, he don't have no new tricks. But the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are safe. You know, the this the name of Jesus, the devil trembles at that name. He has yes. that name. Yes. And as long as you can call on the name of Jesus, he can try to put his hand over your mouth. If you want to scream it the louder, Jesus. And you, you know what? God is going to, Jesus is going to get that demon off of you. Yes. But I thank God it wasn't that bad with me last night. All I could, you know, I, like I said, I just couldn't rest. I knew it was something going on, but I just couldn't rest. And the Lord began, the Holy, it was the Holy Spirit that just, Seemed like it leaped out of me and, and made me begin to quote, come unto me, all ye that labor. And, right. I, and I kept quoting it over and over again. And I got began to get comfortable and get began to get loosened up where there was anxiety and stress. I began to loosen up mm -hmm. and, uh, and begin to fall asleep. So we need the word of God. I tell you, meditating on his word when we're going to sleep yes. tonight. Even if you have to turn something on, like Pastor Marvin said, that's good. Mm -hmm. Turn something on. Uh, but like I said, make sure you know the source of where it's coming from. Because right. AI is also out here. And it it it's not it's not spiritual. Unless it's quoting from no. the James Version. It's not spiritual. So I don't really trust AI all that much. Uh, but if it's a person that's praying, that's different. You know, if it's right. not a mechanical voice that you're hearing. But right, a lot of this AI out here now, and it's not spiritual at all. And you're just listening to a machine. It's all you're doing. It's to a machine. Right. It's not a real person. They don't have, I, a, you know. So you I, have to be careful about that, even. Yes, I rather listen to a human. I don't want to listen to no machine. Yeah, because the machine is not has no feelings, nothing. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not going to listen to that mm -mm. because the devil he always uses things in us machines he use anything against us that he can yeah yeah he does and that, does. and and so what what i'm what i'm finding out more and more is that we got to hold fast to the word of god if we read it to ourselves read it out loud Get mm -hmm. rid of your i guarantee you'll fall asleep if you read the word out loud king james version read it out loud you'll fall you'll be them you'll be them yes. sleep right quick that's the quickest way to fall asleep, I believe, yes. <laughs> is reading the word yes. of God. And so, like I said, I'm going to end with prayer this morning, but I did want to make sure, I just mm -hmm. want to keep on, you know, look, uh, want you to look at this Bible here. Like I said, beautiful uh, Bible. Mm -hmm. It has all these pictures in it, like I said, and it's on our website at www.biblevisionministries.org. Pick one up for a friend. Pick one up for a family member. It's a wonderful mm -hmm. Christmas gift to give. You really, really are not going to. And it, $65 is not much to pay for all of these pictures in this Bible. And it has the real color of, of Jesus here. You know, it's our color, you know. Uh, it, it's amazing uh, all the different pictures that you find in this, in you know, all around, but you hardly can find anything like this. So like I mm -hmm. said, this is something that I really am promoting because I love this Bible. When I got it, I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to be picking up the Bible more now than ever before. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and have prayer and I'm going to lead it right quick and then we're going to um, say goodbye to you and Hope you have a wonderful day. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you honor for this Bible class. God, we thank you for every listener under the sound of my voice on Facebook Live, on YouTube. You know, uh, everybody that came, Lord, we are so thankful. And we ask that you give them peace. Keep the end. We, we, Satan, we bind you. In the mighty name, yes. you cannot name have your God's people. You cannot taunt them. You cannot uh, uh, make them uncomfortable, but God giveth his people rest, and therefore yes. God's people will rest, and they will sleep, and they will not be worried about anything. I, I just believe it, God, that you are going to give your people rest. 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 And we're commanding it today. And for those that don't have rest, that don't know Christ for the pardon of your sins, this is the opportunity now to give your life to him. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. 
So God, we Amen. ask you today, even at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that you are that Jesus Christ is Lord. So God, I ask you today, God, to touch the believers out there and the non-believers, God. Yes. Lead them to the foot of the cross in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. God amen. bless you, God. You guys have a wonderful day. And like I you said, too. please give us a call. Have a you great too. day. Thank you oh, for okay. coming out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.